Number 51. With a 1200 watt toaster, how much electrical energy is needed to make a slice of toast? And the cooking time is approximately one minute. Uh, all right. So, and then we'll get to the second part. So, um, okay. So remember now that watt is just another unit for joules. Okay. Per second. So a watt is equivalent to a joule per second. So I'd rather you kind of convert these units of watts into joules per second. All right. I think it'd be a lot more helpful. So anytime you see watts and you're doing these conversions and whatnot, just write it out as joules per second. So in other words, they're telling you that a toaster is a 1200 watt, or in other words, joule per second toaster. What does that even mean? What that means is that if the toaster runs for one second, if you're running the toaster for a second, you will be utilizing 1200 joules. That's what it means. If you're using the toaster for two seconds, how many joules of energy are you using? 2400 now, right? That's what it means. when. So when you go and shop for appliances, whenever you're doing that now or in the future, and they're telling you, oh, there's a wattage of this appliance. Think about that. What it's telling you is it's telling you then the number of units of energy that are being going to be consumed by that appliance per single second. All right. And you can do your calculation to figure out how much it's going to cost then. Blah, blah, blah. You can need to know your electric rate. And Okay. Anyway, enough of that. So um, it's going to consume 1,200 joules every single second. And now it wants to know how much electrical energy is needed to make a slice of toast if the cooking time for your toast is a minute. Okay, very interesting. So let's figure that out, okay? So if you know, and again, this appliance is going to utilize 1200 joules for every single second, and you wanna cook a piece of toast that's gonna take a minute, what we gotta do is then we're gonna to have to multiply this thing by 60 seconds. That should make sense, all right? Remember the whole conversion would have worked out like this. You would have written, so if you wanted to do this, you would have done seconds on the top, minutes on the bottom, there's 60 seconds in a minute, and then what you wanna do is you want to run this thing for one minute, okay? So here's how the units would have canceled, but obviously minutes go bye-bye, seconds go bye-bye, and we're left with the same thing that I said before. All right, so that should hopefully make sense now. So we're gonna take the 1200 and we're gonna multiply it by 60. So we realize that there's gonna be 72,000 joules being utilized to cook this piece of toast, all right? To cook your toast, 72,000 joules. That's what it requires. Now, how much, what they're asking in the second part, if, or at a rate of nine cents per kilowatt hour, how much does this cost? Now, I went through a very detailed analysis of how to think about these price calculations in number 50. I'm gonna go through the broad overview. You want a more detailed analysis, check out number 50. So uh, I created a simple formula that the total cost of running a particular object over a certain time is going to be equal to the number of joules being utilized, excuse me, the cost, would be helpful if I remember my own formula, the cost of that running that, um, excuse me, the cost, <laughs> this would really help if I remembered what I did in number 50, right? If I remembered what I created there, and I can't even do that. Let's start this again. Whoop, rewind. The total cost of running a particular appliance will be equal to the cost per joule. This is set by the electric company. This is the rate. Okay, this is the rate you're being charged. The rate, all right, the amount of dollars or cents per single unit of energy. What you're then going to do is then you're going to multiply that now by the number of joules that are used. All right, over whatever time period you're talking about. So the most helpful thing is I hate working with kilowatt hours. They're just confusing to me. So what I like to do is I like to remember this and memorize that one kilowatt hour, kilowatt hour is equivalent to 3.6 times 10 to the six joules. Okay, keep that in mind. So what I now need to do is I now need to find, so we already know the total number of joules, right? We're gonna, the cooking the toast takes this amount of energy. It takes 7,200 joules. So I already know this. What I need to do then is find the cost per joule now. They didn't tell me the cost per joule, they told me the cost per kilowatt hour. 
but a kilowatt hour is equivalent to 3,600, excuse me, 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. In other words, 3.6 million joules. So how do I then find now my cost per joule? It's a very simple conversion. Watch, 9.0 cents per one kilowatt hour. I'm then going to take that and multiply it now by my conversion fraction. And I know that one kilowatt hour is equivalent to 3.6 times 10 to the sixth joule. Bye bye kilowatt hours. And now what I got is I have now this value in terms of cents per joule. So nine divided by then 3.6 times 10 to the sixth. And this is going to work out to be now 2.5 times 10 to the minus sixth. And this is now cents per joule. Now you can leave it in cents per joule, or you can convert that into dollars per joule. It doesn't matter. They're both equivalent, right? Um, you, you, in order to do that, I'm not going to do it here, but in order to do it, you'd put cents on the bottom, dollars on the top, 100 cents and a dollar, and this would essentially become 2.5 times cents to the minus 8 now. Okay, dollars per joule. But I'm just going to leave it in cents per joule. Okay, so now I have this piece. All right. And this now is the rate. This is the cost per joule. So I have this. Now, how do I find the total cost of running the appliance to cook the piece of toast? I just got to plug it in, right? I just got to plug it in. So let's move all this stuff to the left-hand side. All right, so the total cost here is going to be equal to our 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6 cents per joule multiplied then by the number of joules, which we calculated that were used. 72,000. So the total cost of cooking your piece of toast will be bum, 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 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by 72,000, a whopping 18 cents. 18 cents. That's how, uh, that's how much it would cost. Now, now I realize I, I converted that into dollars without doing it, right? I, could, I should just write 18 cents. If you needed that in terms of dollars, obviously we know that that's going to be 0.18. doesn't matter how you write it. All right, so there you go. Hopefully you're working with American dollars. If not, euros. Okay, sure. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Take care.